Well, hello, my loves. I'm going to use this basket today because it's the only one I have empty. It's actually what I use. Usually I use this for a toy box. I have two of them. Usually they're used for toy boxes. I'm going to set it over there so maybe y'all can see it a little better. No, you can't. This is a bigger grocery haul than lately, and that's because if y'all tuned into my live last night, you would know my husband's having surgery on Tuesday. Um, and I'm fairly certain I'll be able to get to the grocery store like normal, but I just wanted to be safe. Also, uh, I'll be working, and he'll be at home, and I'll be taking care of him and all this, so I'm not even sure if I'll feel like going to the grocery store. So I got enough for a couple of weeks. Also, we have a birthday coming up, the 23rd, the day before Thanksgiving. So we got some presents for that. Yeah, so. I also went to two stores. I went to Walmart, and then I went to our little locry, locry? local grocery store called Harps for a few things. Anyways, we'll get into it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start with Walmart. First things first, I got this big 42 pack of chips. I should have went to Sam's. I should have made time while well, the surgery was kind of last minute. We He called Tuesday of this week and they scheduled it for Tuesday of next week. So it's kind of last minute because I can get a better deal on these at Sam's. But I just went ahead and bought these for the kids' lunches. Now, luckily, after next week, they're on Thanksgiving break and then they only go for two or three weeks until Christmas break. Maybe this will get us through that whole time. I doubt it because they eat them for snacks after school, on the weekends. It is what it is. Toilet paper. I need a toilet paper. They didn't have any of my go-go juice at Walmart. And uh, Mrs. Claus was nice enough to send me a case. But with the last couple weeks I've had, it's already gone. Because I was drinking one a day. Sometimes two, depending on what was happening that day. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. I need to come back anyways. Mountain Dew. Usually I would just get a 12 pack, but like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna get to go back to the store. And this time the, 12, the 24 pack was actually a better deal than getting the 12 pack. Oh, hmm. Where do I start? I guess we'll just start with the closest things to me, huh? If y'all are new here, I don't do these grocery hauls in any particular order. I usually just grab things. I used to try and like organize it cold stuff, frozen stuff, this stuff, that stuff. I don't anymore. I just grab it and go, listen, we're Hot Mess Express over here and we don't claim to be anything different. A gallon of milk. We use 1% because my husband cannot tolerate, two, uh, he could tolerate 2% but not as well as 1% and he definitely cannot tolerate whole milk. So, I don't need to know about this, it's just my husband's cow medicine. I got a pack of everything bagels. I already have one in my freezer, but Katie likes to eat these for breakfast. My husband likes to eat these for breakfast. I should have got a couple more things of cream cheese now that I'm thinking about it. I did get two, but I should have got probably four. But anyway, so I got some bagels. Got some, I'm not even trying to make it in the thing. Got some, I don't know, I got Star Wars goldfish because I was like, I'm going to be the fun mom. Get the fun goldfish. My kids don't even watch Star Wars. They don't even care about Star Wars. So there's that. Finally found some Fritos. I'm gonna make chili again. I'm gonna make some roast. I, I guess I should have started with that. I didn't technically make a meal plan. I went in the grocery store knowing like the types of dishes and the and some of the things I did want to make like chili, roast, uh, pinto beans and summer sausage, pasty pie, pasta, hamburgers, hot dogs. I didn't get hot dogs. I forgot to get freaking hot dogs. That's okay. I gotta go back to the store probably Monday because my husband has requested hot sandwiches after his surgery, but I didn't want to buy that stuff today because I didn't want it to go bad by the time he felt up to eating it. You know? We got three... Of his blackout berry pop, uh, body armors. I'm gonna put these back in the bag so I can take them to his fridge. And we also got three strawberry banana. I'm not gonna show you all three. I'm just gonna show you this one. That can go to his fridge. And by fridge, I mean his mini fridge. For those of you who 
are new here. He has a mini fridge in his little man cave. It's not like I make him have a whole fridge to himself or he needs a whole fridge to himself. No, it's, it's, a, it's a mini fridge. Chill. Um, Y'all know, I mentioned in my last talk, Katie's been into these Clear Americans. She really likes the black cherry. She's tried just about every flavor now, but a few more she hasn't tried that we saw today were peach, which I don't think she's really going to be a fan of, tangerine mango, and key lime. Um, they haven't had the watermelon one at this Walmart that she likes, or the strawberry really, so gonna put those back in the bag too because it'll be easier to carry out to the garage fridge garage fridge words are hard um it's cold here y'all like a cool feels like negative 10 degrees except for not really it's like 35 degrees but they're calling for snow tonight after yesterday it was like 80 degrees what is happening we got some chili beans to make chili. I bought those last week because I made chili this week. We got some beef gravy to go with our pasty pie. Y'all, I did do a video on pasty pie, but I think I'm going to redo it because I think I made it kind of at the beginning of my channel and uh, wasn't that great. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to go back and see when I made it and probably do another video on it. I got some peas because that's my husband's favorite and I didn't have any more peas. I did get two cans of Rotel. One of them is in another bag somewhere else, but can of Rotel to put in the summer sausage and pinto beans. Probably in this bag right here. Yep, there it is, the Rotel. I got some seasoned diced tomatoes in sauce. This is basically just sauce. Like the tomatoes are so fine. Like so finely diced that you can't really tell that they're chunks of tomatoes. So it's just like chili, so chili sauce, chili tomato sauce. I don't know. Words are hard. Um, yeah, but I got some of that. Um, I've got this. I'm not the biggest fan of this brand of buffalo wing sauce, but they had it on clearance for 75 cents, and it is good until April of 2023. So I'm sure even if it's like uh, use it in the crock pot to cook chicken in and don't like use it for dipping or stuff, this will be fine. And it will work. 75 cents. Couldn't pass it up. Needed some more strawberry jelly. My son goes between wanting strawberry jelly and grape jelly on his peanut butter jam. Peanut butter jam, which is, oh man. Peanut butter sandwiches for school. My husband got some restaurant style salsa because we're also going to be having tacos at some point. Um, I guess I can show you guys what's in here. I got one big tomato because they were out of the little baby Roman tomatoes that I usually use for my guac. So I had to get a regular tomato. That's fine. I got some avocados that are still pretty hard because I probably won't even be making tacos until Wednesday ish. So I didn't want them to get too right before then. Uh, oh, the cashier. She love her to death. What a sweet lady. But she tied some bags and it makes me crazy. Okay, let's see. I got some ham and cheese loaf because my daughter usually takes bologna. But at least my son changes up his flavor of jelly she just wants to take bologna sandwiches every day which fine but also let's change it up a little she does like ham and cheese loaf it's not like i'm forcing her to eat something she doesn't like well you know it's not like i'm forcing her to eat something she doesn't like she does like ham and cheese loaf i got two things of chive and onion cream cheese this is both my husband and my daughter's favorite Got some butter because I always need butter. I did get sausage last week, but I, and I haven't used it yet. But I did get some more because maybe I'm gonna make some breakfast. Like you never know. Maybe I'm gonna go up to making some breakfast. So there's that. I also forgot the summer sausage. I'm gonna eat it. 
two things of croissants. Uh, chimichangas, these are, well, Katie likes the ones I like, but I buy them for me, and because where I have to get them, it's so expensive. I rarely ever let her have them because I'm a mean mom. You can say it all you want to. I don't care. I'm a mean mom. I buy things specifically for me and don't allow my kids to partake. I don't. It's fine. They get stuff all the time that me and their dad don't partake in, so. Just it. Okay. Pie pulp orange juice for my husband to have after his surgery. He's getting shoulder surgery. It's not like he's not going to be like able to like eat and drink, but I figured that'd be he likes that and it'd be a nice treat. I got some chicken broth. I don't know why. Maybe I'm going to need it to make something in my crock pot. You never know. And I got some beef broth. I do have plans for this. Um, got the pinto beans. I didn't forget the pinto beans for the pinto beans and summer sausage. Got my kids some Pop-Tarts. Some popcorn. Uh, my husband needed some more shampoo. I needed these for the toilet. My son calls them big pizza rolls. Um, I got these for him instead of the regular pizza rolls for lunch. I got me some checkers and uh, 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 rallies. Two prices. I like these fries. I don't care if they cost too much money. I like them. And every now and then, I deserve to treat myself. Then my kids, they like these potato wedges, so I got some potato wedges. Crispy golden crowns, a little flat tater tot, so we got those. Got some bacon. I'm not gonna throw these two things here. Got some stew meat for the pasty. And I got a rump roast for a roast. I need some pie crust for the pasty. I guess I can do that. My husband got a big boss meat and cheese stick. I purposely didn't throw that in the bin in case he wants to come get it. Cilantro. Bell peppers. Got these double chocolate Klondike books. Why am I always on call them Klondike? They're Kodiak. Uh, protein bars. I don't have to get these because my husband won't be going back to work until probably January. But Luca also will eat these on like days where I don't feel like fighting him. Taco stuff. Chili stuff. Mac and cheese. And then this was an argument between my husband. He said he wanted stuffing, so I got some stuffing. I told him he likes the chicken one. He says no, he likes the turkey one. So we got them both. Maybe he likes both. Maybe he likes one or the other. Maybe he changed his mind and doesn't like either one. Huh? What? What are you talking about, Lewis? I love you. And that's not what you said. You're running your mouth. Got some Cool Ranch Doritos. Got some Spicy Nacho Doritos. Ow. Got some Hot Cheetos. Because my kids love Hot Cheetos. I got two loaves of bread. Hamburger buns. Hot dog buns. Forgot the hot dogs. Five 
pounds of potatoes. I wanted to get 10 pounds of potatoes, but they didn't have them. They only had a five pound bag, and this was the last five pound bag they had. So, there you go. Um, I'm going to show you what we picked up for Delson for his birthday. Shh, don't tell him. This isn't all we have for his birthday. I've got some stuff put away that I need to get out. But this is the last stuff we got at Walmart was this stuff for his birthday. So, he's been like showing, we don't let him play Roblox, but like, he's been showing interest in like the toys and stuff when we go to Walmart. So I just got him two different mystery figures. And then we got him the, uh, let's see. I don't know, some kind of ninja and some kind of cyborg character. I don't know. And then he's been asking for this, so we did get this. It's just a build your own monster truck thing. So I got him that. And that's all we got from Walmart. That was $289, which, let's see. These were $5 each. These were like close to $11 each. And then the build your own monster truck thing was $13 each. So what is that? 22, 35, like $45 of that was just in his Christmas presents. That's crazy. Or birthday presents, I mean, sorry. I, I spent $289. All right, now let's jump into the other store. Harps. Um, I went there specifically for the beans I used to make my refried beans and eggs because my Walmart only had the two pack of 18 count eggs, so two 18 counts, so 36. Except for I, with my husband getting ready to have surgery, call me crazy, whatever you want, superstitious, whatever. I couldn't bring myself to buy them because the price was $6.66. No thanks. Not with my husband getting ready to go into surgery. I don't need no more negativity in my life right now, so no. So I was going to get eggs at Harps. Yeah, well, a dozen eggs was $5 at Harps. So I'm just going to get them at work tonight um, because even though they're more expensive than Walmart, they're nowhere near as expensive as Harps. They're only $3 a dozen at my store, so I digress. But they finally did because I've been looking for these for a couple months now and the Walmart I usually get them at, I don't think is gonna carry them anymore. My Walmart hasn't carried them in a couple of years. And so Harps is the only place I can get them. And so they haven't had them in a couple months. And so I finally went in there and they had them today. These are the ranch style pinto beans with jalapeno peppers. And we just, I just take the big chunks of jalapenos out when I pour these in my cast iron. And I take two, put a little oil, let them boil for a little bit, smash them with my potato smasher or a fork or whatever. Um, add a little bit of milk, turn them on low, let them simmer for a little while. That is how I make my refried beans. They're good. I got six cans. Now these are kind of pricey. They're like, they used to not be. They used to only be like 60 cents a can. But over the last year, they've gone up to $1.20 a can. So I got six of those. Um, and then while I was in there, because Harps is also the only place I can get the burritos that I like, the spicy jalapeno bean and cheese, at least around here. Now, if I go an hour and a half away to that Walmart, they sell these. My, both of the Walmarts on either side of me don't carry this type of, they carry the El Monterey ones, but they don't carry this flavor. So I went ahead and pick those up. And then uh, every Walmart I go to, including both ones on the, each side of me, they quit carrying onion bagels. I don't know why. So I don't know, while I was at Harps, I decided I would look and see if they had onion bagels because my husband and my daughter really love onion bagels, and they did. And actually, I was pleasantly surprised that they were only $1.99 for the package. It's not too bad, in my opinion. Let's see, that's six. Three bagels for a dollar, and that's roughly 30 three cents a bagel. That's not too bad. Um, but I got two packs. I'll put one in the freezer and I'll keep one out. And that is all she wrote. I spent $20 at Harps. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. 
I love you. I'm praying for you. Bye-bye.